YouTube family, we're doing hamburger gravy. Yes, Lord, here are the ingredients. I got four patties, 7327 lean meat. Then I got some black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder with some flour. And I got some all-purpose seasoning along with a little bit of salt. And I have some of this here, half and half cream and some beef broth with one onion diced up with a few more other types of ingredients as well. So stay watching this here video and find out what the other ingredients are. Using a cast iron skillet over medium high heat, we're gonna take our burgers and we're gonna also toss in our onions and we want to cook these together until the onions are tender and the meat is brown. But I want you to crumble this up as much as you can because this is gonna make some of the finest, finest gravy ever that you wanna put on some mashed potatoes. So let's go ahead and get that started right now and then we'll go to the next step. not have to drain the grease from this here pan but this is what I want you to do next I want you to sprinkle the flour over the cooked beef and onion mixture but I want you to stir this very well and make sure that it's combined cook for an additional one to two minutes to remove the raw flour taste and I guarantee you you're gonna have some of the best hamburger gravy possible so let's go to that step right now Now this is our next step. I want you to take some of that beef broth along with that half and half cream and I want you to pour it right over that mixture. But I want you to stir this thing constantly so that you will not have no lumps in this here hamburger gravy. Now if you really want some in-depth flavor, if you really want to impact this here gravy with some mm, 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 some good tasting um, flavor, go ahead and take you some of that Worcestershire sauce and add it to it. Well, I'm going to use some W sauce. I'm telling you right now that W sauce is going to kick it up a notch. So let's go ahead and do all of this and we're going to move to the next step, all right? So don't go nowhere because if you do, you're going to miss out on a good recipe. Now, as you can see, I'm adding more beef broth to this. It all depends on how thick you want your gravy to be, how thin you want your gravy to be. What I'm doing right now, because my gravy is so thick, I want to go ahead and thin it out. So every now and then, you're gonna go ahead and thin it out with some of that beef broth. Now, right now, what I want you to do is bring this mixture to a simmer. Then I want you to reduce the heat to low and let it cook for about 10 minutes or until the gravy has thickened to your desired consistency. Don't forget to stir this occasionally to prevent this, the pan from sticking. So if you follow these instructions, I guarantee you, you're gonna have some of the best hamburger gravy possible. But right now what I'm doing is I'm tossing in some of this here Lipton onion soup mix for some added flavor. And I'm telling you y'all, it's gonna be off the chain. Now what I also want you to do is go ahead and add in the rest of your seasonings, all right? Add in the rest of your seasonings and allow this baby to cook for at least around about a good 10 minutes 
until your gravy thickens. Now, if you want to thin it out a little bit, remember you can still add a little bit more of this here beef broth. I'm only giving you these ingredients without measurements because I want you guys to be a judge of how much ingredients to put in. All right? So let's What's go ahead up? and get to this, y'all. We are almost at the finish point. Now, right here at this point, you will not need any. Listen to what I'm finna tell you. You will not need any seasonings added to this here dish because this is a finished product. I'm telling you right now, you can put this over some rice. You can put this over some of your vegetables, but I double dog dare you to put this over some biscuits and some gravy. Y'all, I damn, I put this over some biscuits and some mashed potatoes. Look at here, y'all. I got some of these homemade biscuits with homemade mashed potatoes. And I'm taking this here. Listen to what I'm finna tell you. This hamburger gravy and just dropping it right on top. If you want to see these here biscuits, homemade recipe, and this homemade mashed potato recipe, comment below. Tell me you want to see the biscuits and the potatoes. I'll show you how to make them, y'all. Come on here. Let's get on board. Mm. Please subscribe to my channel, Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. Now, another thing I would love for you to do is follow me also on Instagram. There, I also post foodie pictures along with recipes. But I also want to say thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this here video. If you like what you've seen on today, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know exactly what you would like to see in the future. And I'll try my best to prepare a video for you. Remember, please hit that membership button and, and become a monthly member of Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. I always say this at the end of all of my videos and I truly mean it. Love and not hate. Love somebody. And whatever you do, don't hate nobody. Peace.